Hi guys. Now we will solve this network by using Norton's theorem. By using Norton's theorem. Okay. And this is the load resistance RL which is connected to the circuit. And IL is the load current flowing through the circuit. Okay. So in the first step of Norton's theorem, what we will do is we will find Norton's resistance Rn. We will find Norton's resistance Rn. So, how we will find this Norton's resistance Rn? We will observe the circuit from these two terminals. Okay? And all the voltage sources voltage sources are replaced by their internal resistances internal resistances okay and so now we will measure the Norton's resistance R okay so to measure the Norton's resistance we have to replace the voltages with internal resistance now I am redrawing the circuit like this this is the place where the voltage source is located in the network. Okay, that voltage source is not having any internal resistance. That's why I am removing the voltage source with a wire like this. Okay, so what is Rn? So we have to observe the Norton's resistance from is two terminals okay so here this two ohms resistance and this two ohms resistance these two are in parallel and which results in one ohm one ohm plus two one ohm plus two ohms that is up to here the circuit is like this at three ohms and three ohms resistance okay so, two 3 ohm resistors are parallel like this. Okay. Then, the equivalent resistance will be 1.5 ohm. Equivalent resistance will be 1.5 ohm. So, in the next step, what is our aim? That is in step 2. What we have to do is, we have to find... IN. What is IN? IN is the short circuit current. That is the current flowing through the short circuit. Okay. So, this is IN. Now, by removing the load resistance RL and by redrawing the circuit, the circuit will be like this. The circuit will be like this. Okay. Here, what about this 3 ohms resistance? I will tell you the thing. Here I am redrawing the circuit. Okay, this is how our circuit is. 2 ohms, this one is 2, this is 2 and this one is 3 ohms. This is 9 volts voltage. How the current will flow at this point? How the current will flow? At this point, the current will definitely choose this path. Okay. So, we can neglect this 3 ohms resistance and we will draw the circuit like this. Okay. So, while drawing the circuit, initially these two resistors are in parallel which results in 1 ohm. 1 plus 2. So, the resistance R is 3 ohms. Equivalent resistance R is 3 ohms. Now, the current due to this 9 volts source is I is equal to V by R 9 by 3, 
which is equal to 3 amperes okay so how much current is flowing through this circuit that is 3 amperes current but what we have to do is we have to find the current flowing through this short circuit we have to find the current flowing through this short circuit okay so in here we are using current division rule in is equal to i into what is i 3 into opposite resistance 2 ohms by 2 plus Okay, that is 6 by 4, 6 by 4, which is equal to 1.5 amperes, which is equal to 1.5 amperes. So, with this, we can draw our Norton's equivalent circuit with a current source IN in parallel with resistance RN. In parallel with resistance Rn. Okay. So, what is In? What is In? In is 1.5 and Rn is 1.5. So, now we will draw the circuit like this. We will draw the circuit like this. So, whenever this is a Norton's equivalent circuit, whenever to these two terminals, our load resistance, what is load resistance? 1.5 ohms is connected, then IL is the current flowing through the load. Okay, now how will we find the load current? That is IL. IL is the load current is equal to IN. What is IN? IN is 1.5 ohms into RN, Norton's resistance, 1.5 ohms, sorry, this is 1.5 amps, 1.5 ohms, IN into RN by RN plus RL. So, that will be 1.5 into, 1.5 into, what is RN? 1.5 by 1.5 plus 1.5 which is equal to 1.5 into 1.5 by 3. So, this is 2 times the load current, the current flowing through the load is 0.75 amps. Okay. So, this is about Norton's theorem. Thank you.